Hi ladies, Dr. Wendy Dearborn here from Pull Up Your Big Girl Panties. Don't you get them twisted. Well ladies, today is my or our email answer session and I have had a slew of emails from you guys and thank you so much guys. Let me just say this, thank you so much for the support that I'm getting for Pull Up Your Big Girl Panties. It's amazing. Now I know I haven't answered emails in April. So ladies, I'm really aware of that. So for those of you who gave me a gentle reminder, mm, we haven't heard from you. Thank you for that. And it wasn't actually an oversight in as much as I recognized that I hadn't done this. And primarily because I've been working feverishly for somewhere for us to go. And if you had actually seen the other segment by that, I am working on a more interactive website where really and truly ladies, it's a learning center. And that's really what I'm wanting for you. As I said in the, in the other segment, I want somewhere for you to go where you can get the skills so that you can utilize them to create the life that you say that you want to live. So that being, that being said, and you will be kept in the loop about that. That being said, you also have uh, part three, part three, tutorial number three of our energy exercise. So be sure to look out for that. And if you haven't done tutorial one and one and two, ladies, for all the emails that I have received, and I received a lot of emails that had the, the, the same kind of energy running through it. Everybody appears to be really fed up to the back teeth, to the wisdom teeth, which have been pulled out on most people but they're just fed up to the back teeth of their life. Now, most of the women who I received these emails from are married or in committed relationships. They have children and some have grandchildren. Now, most, most of the ladies, as I said, they're fed up to the back teeth. They're hating life. They're not enjoying their life. They no longer enjoy their spouse. They're not feeling their job, but they go because, you know, they got bills to pay. They hate their body image. They hate the food that they're eating. You know, nothing does it for them. They're feeling menopausal. They're having hot sweats. They're having hot flushes. They're having, you know, all these things. And ladies, I get it. I really do, I get it, I understand. I feel your pain, but beyond that, pull them up ladies, pull them up. Pull up them big girl panties. You see, you can choose to stay in that feeling or you can choose to cultivate a feeling out of that feeling. You see ladies, everything that I have read in those emails, you know, from um, my husband doesn't really care about me in my life or my kids are taking advantage of me or my boss is taking advantage of me or my, my friends are taking advantage of me, family's taking advantage of me or people don't care about me. I give so much, but they don't care about me. When I have or I'm in need, nobody's ever there to give back to me or nobody's ever there to listen to me. Yes, ladies, these were all the things that were coming across in the emails. So you can stay there in that emotion. And as I say, and I say this, and I truly do mean this, when I say this on the radio show, I truly do mean this, you need to feel the emotion. But once you've felt the emotion, ladies, you need to move past it. And oh yeah, okay, Dr. Wendy, that's really easy for you to say, how am I gonna move past this? I'm not feeling my, 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 my marriage. I'm not feeling my kids. I'm not feeling my job. I'm not feeling the church. I'm not feeling the, my body. I'm not feeling my health. How do I move past this? Well, you see, when you come across like this, to me, it sounds like your panty string popped. That's what it sounds like. But ladies, even then, I say, pull them up. And when I say this, I do say this with empathy, ladies. But you can't stay where you're at. It's a horrible feeling. You cannot stay where, you, where you're at because it promotes nothing but this feeling of helplessness gloom and doom. My life's over. 
You know, you're like, I'm only 45 or I'm only 55 or I'm only 35 or I'm only 60 or 75 and my life is over. Is this what I've got to look forward to? Well, no, it's not. I'm here to tell you, no, it's not. So here's the deal. Everything that any of you had emailed to me that said you were fed up about, that you were disenfranchised with, that you were unhappy with, anything that you told me has told me what it is that you want. If you have said to me that your husband is disinterested in you and what's going on in your life, or your children are taking advantage of you, or your friends or your boss, what you've told me is that you want your husband to take an interest in your life. You, you want your children or whomever not to take advantage of you. You want to be treated respectfully at work. Well, ladies, here it comes. Are you doing this for yourself? Are you respectful of you? Or do you keep giving, giving, giving and not saying no, that's disrespectful to you? Are you interested in you and your life? You see, because if you're interested in you and your life, people will be interested in you. Are you giving away so that you are used and abused? Learn to say no. Learn to say no and say no with love. I'm not doing that for you. Well, why not? You're my mama. Yeah, and you're my child. Do it yourself. I'm not doing that for you. No. And no, you don't have to have a reason why. The answer is no. If you're in a relationship with somebody who is unwell and you do not, you are not a caregiver. And this has come up several times. You are not a caregiver. But because you're in this relationship and have been in this relationship for I don't know how many years or even if it's recent and you've been talking about you're going to get married but it never happened because, you know, he got sick, etc, etc, etc. If it didn't happen and this isn't you, you're not the caregiver or you want something different for your life, be at peace with that. Don't live a life that you don't want to live. Because you see, what will happen is your body, your body's innate response to this is to get your attention. And usually it does this by making us sick. So ladies, you have told me what you want. All the emails, everything, yeah, kind of bitching and moaning. You, you, you were tone, telling me what you want, whining and crying. You were telling me what you want, blaming and the whole nine yards. You were telling me what you want. And for me, that is powerful and that is awesome. That's powerful and that's awesome. So you want to have your husband more interested in your life. Ladies, what does it look like for you to be more interested in your life? Let's put him on the burner for a minute. We'll put him on the front burner. What does it look like for you to be more interested in your life? What does it feel like for you to take an interest in your life? What does it sound like? What does it smell like? What does it taste like? You see, in order for anybody to be interested in your life, including you, you have to be interested in it too. You can't expect people to do for you if you're not going to do for yourself. So this is what pull up your big girl panties is all about. It starts with you. The middle bit is you. It ends with you. As my sister said on the show um, on, on Wednesday, wherever you go, you are dead or alive wherever you go you are in this incarnation or another one wherever you go you are so what is it that you are wanting for you and your life that's the question it's about communicating with yourself it's about listening to you and what you are really saying to you it's not the negativity of what's coming out of your mouth, but it's the power of the words 
and what those words are telling you. I'm fed up with my life. This tells me that you are wanting something different for your life that's going to energize you, that's going to infuse you with energy, that's going to give you an uplifting vibration. That's what that statement tells me. So ladies, flip the script on what's going on. Flip the script on what is going on. The other thing that I'd like to say is when you do start feeling overwhelmed, and believe me, ladies, I'm, I'm sitting in front of this, this lens, and I know from personal experience that it's a challenge. I'm not saying that it's easy. I know that it's a challenge, ladies. I know this. I know the hurt, the tears, the frustration. You know, I, I know that. I understand. What I am saying is that you can and I'm a witness to that, a living witness to that. You can, through the power of changing your thought process, through the power of changing that internal dialogue, through the power of um, empowering yourself, through the power of communicating with yourself effectively, you can change your entire life. But you see, you have to choose it. It's all about choices. You have to choose it. So that being said, when the days are really overwhelming, you know, literally, I'm going to tell you literally, this is what I do. So I'm going to share this with you. I inhale. I inhale through my nose deeply to the count of eight. And when my lungs are fully um, inflated, I will hold when, I, when it gets to the top is what, what it's called. When, it's fu when I'm fully inflated, I'll hold to the count of three or five and then I'll exhale through my mouth fully. And as I inhale to the count of eight, I know I am inhaling everything that is good in this world. And as I inhale and take that air, air into me and I follow it, knowing that everything inside me is galvanizing and changing to the good. And as I exhale, I exhale all negativity. Everything that I feel is negative, I just let it go. So again, ladies, I do this maybe three times. Sometimes, given the circumstances, it has to be a little bit more, I ain't gonna lie, but usually three times. And usually by then, I, I'm, I'm at a point where I'm like, okay, whatever. You know, that, that shake your head point and you can move forward. And you find that you're not so overwhelmed. The other thing is, when you find yourself in a situation, when you find yourself in a situation where you do feel overwhelmed, ask yourself, what about this situation is overwhelming me? Well, the, the, the fact that I use fed up, the fact that I'm feeling so fed up, it just overwhelms me because I don't want to feel like this. Well, you've just answered your own question. You've answered why you were feeling overwhelmed. And again, ladies, at ad nauseum, you're going to be saying this to yourself in your sleep. What does it look like for me not to feel overwhelmed? Don't know what it looks like. What does it feel like to me not to be overwhelmed? What does it sound like? Or even smell like or even taste like? So ladies, hopefully that has helped until um, next month. Be sure to look out for tutorial number three. Ah, oh, that's what I started to say. I don't know if I said it. If I said it, well, I'm going to say it again. Ladies. Do tutorial one and two. This is what it's about. You want to change your life. You have to do the work. You have to do the work. I cannot breathe for you. Neither can anybody else. For all of you who are medically inclined, you know that for a short period of time, I can or anybody else can administer CPR in the form of mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation where we keep the lungs inflating, in, um, 
uh, in, inflating, where we keep you breathing. But you can only do that for a short period of time. You see, you cannot live on my carbon dioxide and neither can I live on yours. You see, you have to breathe for yourself. So ladies, you have to do the work. This is where I'm going with this. You have to do the work. I'm not saying it's easy, but you have to be disciplined and dedicated. And most of all, you have to choose you as a priority. So ladies, until next time, look out for tutorial number three. It's coming hot on the heels of this. So look out for tutorial number three. We're going to be talking about how to move energy, how energy moves and how you can see energy moving based upon your emotional thought process. And you're going to be able to see that energy, wherever your intention goes, your energy will flow. Energy flows where your intention goes. And you're going to be able to see that. You're going to be able to prove it to yourself. So I'm Dr. Wendy Dearborn. Until next time, ladies, pull up them big girl panties. Somebody said to me the other day, somebody put up there, sometimes you just need some granny drawers. Well, ladies, granny drawers, thong, outfit, bikini, whatever it is, pull them up. I'm Dr. Wendy Dearborn. Don't get them twisted. Until next time, ladies, peace.